And on Saturday, it went down after 50 Cent shared a screenshot of his private DMs with Will Smith, who straight up cursed him out. Jada Pinkett and Will Smith, you told me before that she was at a party before that they attended and you said the party was weird. Tell me about that. When you were dating J-Lo, Will Smith and Jada tried to pick her up on a threesome and you were gonna beat up Will Smith, is that true? <laughs> Saw wax that I, when I walked in on. Who'd you walk in on? Him and Dwayne Martin. For several years now, it was finally revealed that Will Smith and Jada Pinkett Smith's relationship is unconventional, to say the least. And after Jada dropped the bombshell in 2023 that she and Will haven't even actually been together since 2016 in an interview with Today, questions and rumors surrounding Will Smith's S-U-ality have been recirculated, and atop of the debate is none other than G-Unit rapper and film producer Curtis 50 Cent Jackson. Another person Uncle Fifth has allegedly looped into the gay party talk is Tyler Perry. And apparently there is footage that can confirm both Will and Tyler attended one or more of Diddy's alleged S parties. In 2008, tabloids and major outlets began speculating that Will and Jada were in an open relationship. The tabloids tried to claim that Will suggested Jada could be with another man if she really felt she needed to. Then, in an interview with HuffPost, the actress dropped this now infamous quote, I've always told Will, you can do whatever you want, as long as you can look at yourself in the mirror and be okay. Because at the end of the day, Will is his own man. I'm here as his partner, but he is his own man. He has to decide who he wants to be, and that's not for me to do for him. Or vice versa. Her not outright denying the open relationship was one thing, but many started to interpret her words to mean that Will himself might be gay as he needed to decide who he wants to be. In 2016, actress Alexis Arquette accused Will Smith of paying off her first wife to not reveal he was having gay s in a now-deleted Facebook post. Arquette said, when Jada comes out as gay and her beard husband admits his first marriage ended when she walked in on him, servicing his sugar daddy Benny Medina, then I will listen to them. She went on further, discussing an alleged moment that occurred on the set of Six Degrees of Separation. Will threw a fit on the set of Six Degrees of Separation when he was required by the scene to kiss Anthony Rapp, Arquette continued. He persuaded the director to shoot the back of his head in frame, blocking the non-existent lip lock entirely, him. Gays have enemies, they lurk in gilded closets, outing is healthy, you are either with or against us. You decide, today, she explained. Responding directly to Alexis Arquette's accusations, Will's first wife, Cherie Fletcher, posted a video to Facebook titled, Just Setting the Record Straight, to directly confront Alexis Arquette after her accusations. Alexis Arquette, let's just be clear, I don't know you and you don't know me, so for you to claim you have first-hand knowledge information as to why my marriage didn't work out is completely out of line. Not only is it out of line, it's absolutely not true. She made it clear that Will never cheated on her, and she firmly believed he was straight, a response 50 Cent and Co. believe was fueled by Will's money to his ex-wife or outright threats for her to make things clear. My marriage ended not over any infidelity. I didn't find Will in bed with a man, I didn't find him in bed with a woman, it just didn't happen. Will was straight in 1992, and he's straight in 2016. She further claimed the relationship ended simply because she was unhappy, and that there was no way she could be paid off enough to say otherwise. I know Will has a lot of money, but Will does not have enough money to take my voice away from me, to deprive me of my story. That wouldn't happen, she elaborated. In 2020, a clip resurfaced of YouTuber Shane Dawson pretending to m bait to a then 11-year-old Willow Smith. Oh, Willow. Oh, I'll whip your hair back and forth. Oh. oh. After both Jaden and Jada Pinkett Smith condemned Dawson over the video, fellow YouTuber Trisha Paytas made a video to defend Dawson while dropping a bombshell of an accusation. How about worrying about your daughter being in bed at 13 with her 20-year-old boyfriend? How about worrying about your F King cheating husband F King one of my male dancers when they didn't want to, she said in the video. While it was later clarified in a video that she wasn't there like I wasn't in the room or anything, but it's happened to multiple dancers allegedly, it still renewed speculation on Will Smith's sexuality and alleged links to Diddy's naughty parties. Since Jada Pinkett's comments have once more sparked speculation about Will's sexuality, it makes sense to look back at exactly what she has said on the subject. 
She made her thoughts clear in a radio interview on The Burt Show on Atlanta's Q100. I've heard all the things. Their marriage is not real. He's gay. She's gay. They swing. But at the end of the day, people have to believe what they have to believe. One thing Will and I are not here to do is like, what's real for us is what's real for us, so you can either get on that bandwagon or not. To be honest, Will Smith has had it rough over the last couple of years, and Fifth adding more pain to his existing miseries may just be too much for him to bear. From the Oscars incident to Jada's revelations about their life, it is not easy being Will. However, he seems to be doing just fine these days. Overall, he chills on social media and does his thing, regardless of what people might say. Unfortunately, however, there continue to be those who want to spread rumors and make his life hell. One of those people just so happens to be his former assistant and friend, Brother Bilal. I open the um, door to Dwayne's dressing room, and that's when I see Dwayne and having it. What will. Some time back, the former assistant got to speak with gossip blogger Tasha K. Tasha is known for having some salacious interviews on her platform. Consequently, it should come as no surprise that Bilal would find himself there. After all, he was promoting a book he wrote about Smith called Will Smith's Demonic Circle. In the interview with Tasha K., brother Bilal claimed that Will once had S with Dwayne Martin. He explained what he saw in detail and got a bit graphic with it. I opened the door to Dwayne's dressing room, and that's when I see Dwayne having S with Will. Brother Bilal said, there was a couch and Will was bent over the couch and Dwayne was standing up K him, M him, it was M in there. Ultimately, there is no one to corroborate these claims. We doubt Martin and Smith would even entertain such rumors, given the fact that Bilal seemingly had an axe to grind. As you would expect, the former power couple immediately responded. The reason Will and Jada responded, they know it's true, Brother Bilal said on the platform with Tasha K. They responded in less than nine hours. He knows what I saw in that dressing room. Jada, listen, in two weeks, if you don't sue me in two weeks, if Tasha K will have me, I'm back here and I'm dropping evidence. Bilal dared them. And guess what? Neither Jada nor Will ever sued Bilal. Does that mean he was right? Maybe, just maybe. In his response, brother Bilal proceeded to call Jada's bluff and encouraged her to sue him. He claims that he has evidence and that if she doesn't take action against him, he's going to reveal it. You said I extorted you? You said it was a money shakedown, he said, referring to Jada's comments on Breakfast Club. Let's get into a little more of it. Jada, you are a bald head liar and a drug addict. You told the world you were going to sue me. Despite vehement denials from both Will Smith and Jada, claiming that Bilal just wants money, he remains confident in his allegations. He says he's driven by a commitment to revealing the truth, allegedly. A spokesperson for Smith was quick to deny the allegations about the Academy Award-winning actor and rapper. This story is completely fabricated and the claim is unequivocally false, they told TMZ. A source close to Smith has also claimed that he was considering taking legal action following Billa All's remarks. Martin, who is married to actress Tisha Campbell from 1996 to 2020, has yet to speak out since the release of the Bilal interview. This shocking revelation came after Jada revealed she and Will had been secretly separated for seven years in a shock interview in October 2023. Jada, whose memoir Worthy was released the same year, told the Today Show's Hoda Kotb that her marriage to Will had effectively ended by 2016. I think by the time we got to 2016 we were just exhausted with trying, she said. I think we were both kind of just still stuck in our fantasy of what we thought the other person should be. Kodib also asked Jada about the long-term rumors that have swirled around the Hollywood power couple. She said, you and Will probably have more rumors about you and talk about you than others. They're in an open marriage, they're swingers, he's gay, she's gay. Denying the accusations, Jada said, I would say that none of that's true. I definitely can understand why there'd be misunderstandings, but none of it's true. The actress, who married Will in 1997, admitted in a subsequent interview that the pair have been trying to figure out what the future of their marriage looks like. The ex-couple, who have two children, Jaden and Willow, told People magazine, We're still figuring it out, we've been doing some really heavy-duty work together. She added, We've just got a deep love for each other, and we're going to figure out what that looks like for us. And in a rather suspicious turn of events, Diddy over the years has been linked to both Will and Jada. In October 2023, Diddy finally responded to the rumors that he once wanted to fight Will Smith after the actor and his wife, Jada Pinkett Smith, tried to have a threesome with his then-girlfriend Jennifer Lopez. Appearing on Jimmy Kimmel Live, Diddy downplayed the truthfulness of the story, but some people believe he was hiding something. When you were dating J-Lo, 
Will Smith and Jada tried to pick her up on a threesome and you were gonna beat up Will Smith. Is that true? Speaking of love, I saw a guy on the internet the other day, Kimmel began. He said he used to be your security guard, who said that when you were dating J Lo, Will Smith and Jada tried to pick her up on a threesome, and you were gonna beat up Will Smith. Is that true? Diddy replied, This show has gotten crazier since the last time. You really heard that? Nah. After joking about not believing everything you hear on the internet, Diddy adds, I don't know what you're talking about, Jimmy. I thought we were friends. The former bodyguard Gene Deal detailed the alleged story while speaking with The Art of Dialogue. He claimed the couple had made advances on Lopez. He also joked that Will would most likely beat the S out of Diddy, although he did admit the music industry mogul can scrap. Tyler Perry is another person who is hooked up in Diddy's mess. The film director likes to keep his love life private, but questions about his sexuality have been in the tabloids for years. Recently, his ex-friend Walter Lee Hampton alleged that Perry was once gay, but has abandoned the community. He alleged that the actor said the popular Medea character would suffer financially if he came out. While all these are allegations, the actor has never confirmed he is gay. In an interview on Angela Yee's lip service, Tyler Lepley denied that he and Perry were gay. He has also been spotted at Diddy's parties, making him an interesting subject for whatever the hell is going on right now. So, should we expect Diddy to name his accomplices? In the comments below, tell us who you think will make the list. And that's it from us today. Until next time, thank you for watching.